Hey everybody, thank you for joining. Um, today, I'm here with my daughter, Carissa. My name is Teresa and we are gonna do a rescuing Polly. So yesterday in one of our adventures, we were out and about looking for supplies to make moss poles and we came across these two Polly's that, Alocasia Polly's, that literally, they were dry as a bone, I don't even know. We have no idea. Like there's corms in here, maybe. I don't know. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take them out of the dirt. We're going to transplant them. And we're going to do one in Lekka. And we're going to do one in my um, dirt mix, which is about 50% soil, 50% bark mix, and, and Lekka and chunky mix. Um, yeah. So, okay. Let's get started. <clears throat> I think we'll start with mine here and I can just show you how bad it is like you can see the damage on the leaves they're very very neglected yet they grew I don't get it yeah. okay so we're gonna take it out of the pot oh we're gonna move this part. okay and just check the roots and see what it's all about Got dirt flying everywhere. Just try and gently. Oh, there's a corn. That's good. Is it still alive? It looks alive. Yeah, it looks good. So we just cut it up and stick it in there for later. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill those trays yeah. with the the moss. Right. And we're gonna put them right in the moss yeah. and then water them. Yeah. Um, but we just, why, we just cut them off? Well, usually they break off. That's or... why I want to wait and see. Okay. Oh, this is a plug too. Boom. I hate plugs. Right? They're so annoying. Okay. So, this is going to take a few minutes here. I'm trying to do this gently without hurting any. It's got beautiful roots from what I can see. So... Are we getting it? Nobody else makes this look so easy on camera. It's never that easy for me to get all the dirt out. I'll squish a little bit. Squish. What? Those are like massive chunks of just dirt. That's like, not congealed. Congealed is not the right word, but like. Well, I think it's like bark. But, but it's not bark. It almost looks like just hardened dirt. Like poop. Look, there's another corn. Oh, nice. There's one here too, I think. Oh, no, that's the that's plug. That's the same one. No, that's the plug. Oh. Okay, so. It's got healthy roots, at least. It's not dying. No. I think it's just been neglected. Like, it hasn't been properly watered. And probably got really beat up in transit. Well, you know, you never know when you go to the box stores because, like, usually they're either overwatered or underwatered. Or underwatered, but they seem. But we got Audrey there too. The same place. Well, no, not that specific one. But we got her at Home Depot. Oh Remember yeah. Remember, we got it like the full plant for twenty bucks. Yeah. A tree, she was huge. Yeah, but she's three stems of a tree. Yeah. Or whatever that would be. Well, you know what? A lot of people do. Like, you go to box stores, you yeah. get some really good deals. Well, In this case, what was it? Canadian Tiger? No, I think this one was oh, Lowe's. No, Rona. Rona. Rona, yeah. And you could tell, like, it was a blowout section. So, just so you know, we actually got these guys for like $5 each, regular 20 30 Almost $30. $27? Because they were on seasonal, which made no sense to me, but seasonal discount is the way they put it in. And it's literally, all, a lot of their plants just look really bad. Yeah. And they get into the roots. But she's looking. Her roots are looking very healthy, all things considered. Yeah, I just don't like the soil. No, it's a very, oh. very um, dense soil. Not a lot of air can get through to the roots, which is 
not ideal. No, not at all. Okay. All right. It's really awkward just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing anything at all. Well, technically, I guess you could do the other poly, your poly. Yeah, I might as well, right? And then we'll take them both to the sink to clean them up. Yeah. All right, let's get her. All right. So she looks like a beautiful root system. Like I'm just looking at all the white roots. There's, I don't see any rot. No. Much, even dry rot. Well, and even if you look at this one, like it's got. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. Two. Two brand new leaves coming in under there, which is pretty awesome. So let's see. Oh, I don't know if I can get this out. It's stuck. There we go. Uh oh. You want to big enough for it? Well, it's gonna have to be big enough to make it work. Now this one's way drier because I did not water it yesterday when I got home from the store. So it might actually be easier to. Yeah, or harder because the roots are so dry. Oh yeah, these are beautiful. Here, no, look. I've got a lot of dead root in there. At least at the top. Okay, so I'm also, I don't know if you can see it. Well, you probably can't. I don't know if I can get it close enough. But there is a, a plug. And I know there's a big debate over some say it's not a big deal and others, you know, I've actually seen a lot of decline in any of the plants that I've, that I've purchased that have the plugs. And I don't always like, when I bring a plant home, I don't immediately usually transplant. These guys we are, but I usually, so it acclimate, right? I usually let it acclimate, get used to the, the house. And, and so I don't always notice the plug right off the hop, but. I do. Um, I hate the plugs. <laughs> I don't find that they're good for the plant. I know I know they're supposed to degrade and whatever, but for a cloth to degrade, it takes years. I guess. Oh, that one came out. So, I've got a corn. Okay, let's put the corn. Is it off? Or no, is it's, it just it's, attached? It's, okay. Well, I haven't gotten it out yet or anything, but um, this dirt is like, it almost reminds me of like dried up paper mache. Like, I wish I could show, look. Oh, shit. Oops. There's a corn. There's the plug here. And I know I, I know I have there. to show you, not her, but. <laughs> right there. So, yeah, it's just totally got it looped in. And by the way, I am just not even over a cold yet, so I'm very hoarse. And more so than usual. Yeah. Yeah, the corn is, like, that's, oh, oh my the corn. God. I feel like it's just like. Like I'm just ripping the plug. Maybe I should dump this in that water. Yeah. Try to lose some of the dirt a little bit. Cause I feel like I'm gonna do a lot of damage to the roots. Cause it's just like literally ripping in chunks. Like, um... I just. I don't know, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's, a, it's a piece of bark. It looked like a bone. <laughs> <laughs> Too much TV. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty. And that one. Okay, we're showing each other. We're, <laughs> these poor people trying to watch us do this, which is absolutely hilarious because I think the camera might be too far away for you guys to see what we're doing. But literally, like I'm right now trying to gently break Ouch. the mesh away from the roots without ruining the roots, ripping them. Despite it being so dry, it actually doesn't have a terrible root system. The corms look like they're in a uh, pretty good state. They're not looking super dehydrated, which is good. Yeah, well, we've got that moss. We're gonna put them in. Yeah, put them in my fancy new little kits that I bought that are really, really nice. You can't get over them. No. It's kind of funny. Just a little bit funny. Oh my word. Like, the 
this mix is garbage. <laughs> I hate dirt. I am not a dirt person. I don't like my plants in dirt. Okay, I think I'm out of this now, but I can't, can't see if I got all the netting off. this plant. Oh, I'm traumatizing this. Oh. Okay. There's the netting that was getting. But the, the roots are beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Roots are beautiful. I think about the life they get. I know. My students think I'm insane when I like make them look at the roots on every plant we have. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, okay, we get it. <laughs> Pretty. But no, look at them. Look at how beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I think I uh, there's still some netting in here. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna finish doing this, and then we're gonna, gonna come back and we're gonna wash these out. What? Get all the dirt off because more so mine because I'm putting this one in LECA so I want to make sure it's as clean as possible so that none of the dirt begins to rot um, in the water and then yours is we'll, we'll wash but it doesn't need to be as because we're going to throw yours in the dirt mix, Well I want right? to get rid of as much of the dirt on this as possible because yeah. this dirt is no good. Right, this so. one actually has quite a few corms in it. I just haven't gotten to them all yet. Like, I can see them, but they're not fully exposed yet. I definitely should have watered it last night, though. <laughs> okay, so we're back. That took way longer than we thought. Um, so just looking at these ones, they're actually looking better. They needed hydrating. But those are the roots on Carissa's, if you can see how pretty that is. We actually both have two and could plant individually, but I kind of feel like I want a bigger plant. Yeah. So those are hers and we're going to put hers in the dirt mix. Yep. And then mine, these beautiful roots are just like, that's the roots there. Look at that. It's beautiful. I cleaned it up as best I could. Should be fine in the dirt. So. Or in the water. water. So I just gotta grab, mine's easy. I'm just gonna throw it in like a, we'll put you back in here. What? Oh, and we got lots of corms. All right, so I already have like a hair. It's ready to go. Yeah, because it's just matter. So all I'm gonna do the container I'm going to use. Literally. I don't know if we're going to have enough. I don't know. I'm going to throw it over there. No, but it has to be enough to cover the roof. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm not going to be filling this right up, so I'm not overly concerned if she's sitting lower in the container um, than I would necessarily in dirt because it will get, still get light. I hope I have enough liquor. I might just have enough. Oh, you're going to have to make it do either way. Not going to any more stores today. No, that's there you go. Ah. 
lying like a So they're standing up. Yep. I'm gonna stop talking to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Still a little wobbly, but let's see if I can just kind of push it in there. Make it a little more compact. So I probably should have soaked this like up, but what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna fill it more than I normally would to get the Lekka wet and then today or tomorrow later tonight or tomorrow I will drain some. Drain, drain some of it. So in my fancy jug I've already mixed I use our shower has got um, because alocasia is going to be very finicky with the water so we've got a filter on the shower so I filled this up with um, Marfil which is a soil enhancer but it's also hydroponic and I've been I use this on all my water plants so we're gonna use that to there we go there so I'll keep an eye I don't like to keep it full of water I find it does then tend to root the rot so root rot Rot, rot the roots. Rot the roots. <laughs> so I tend to usually when I use Lekka, I might do it halfway or just below, just mid roots, but just because we want to make sure they're hydrated. Okay, so that's blending. Does she look pretty? Okay. All right. Let's get rid of that. So now, <gasps> Carissa's she's a little bit less of a root system. Hers is a little drier. But you yeah. can already see actually how much they've hydrated and plumped up. Yeah, They're quite pretty. So, so all we're gonna do is put a little bit on the bottom. Oh, that'd be too much. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Nah, actually, a little, a little more. A little more. Because you want these guys about an inch, right, from the top. Yeah. in there. Now we're just gonna fill it in. Fill it in. Oy vey. Always a mess. I'm not sure I like the moss in the mix, but it's okay. Well, one thing to remember is with these guys, they do, you like don't want them like sitting them. in their water, but you want them to retain yeah. Because they do not like to dry out. Yeah. Um, I need solid. Yeah. They're definitely not in the best condition today. Hopefully tomorrow they'll be stronger and happier. Actually, considering, they'll be pretty good. So... The soil I have um, is the Fox Farm Ocean Forest. And then the Tropic, we use the bulk mix, which is from Tropics in the City. And she does an amazing job of also including bios nutrients in her mix. So I feel like there's already a lot of nutrients in here that I don't, I wouldn't worry about fertilizing yet. Yeah. Let them kind of acclimate to their new, this one is over here. It's wobbly, wobbly. Wobbly, wobbly. I have a 
haven't had an actual dirt mix in a no, long time no, no, for no, any no. of my plants. So this will be fun. <laughs> no, there's not a lot of dirt in here, but there we go. All right. There. So now we're just gonna kind of see. Now we have both of our alocasias. I think you can probably see them better there. I'm just doing a weird thing to the coloring, but. And to be honest, like for five dollars, these are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some more liquor. And just fill that in a bit more. But there you go. So thanks for joining. We will give you updates on how these guys are doing as time goes on. And um, hopefully they don't die. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they don't die. <laughs> and thank you very much for watching. Bye.